Once upon a time, there was an ant. Mm, a few ants, actually. Well, quite a few. A hundred of them, in fact. They all lived in an ant hill on the side of a much bigger hill, and every day had to spend an hour trudging up the hill for water, and then bringing it another hour's long walk all the way down again. One of these ants, either lazier or perhaps smarter than the rest, you decide, suddenly had an idea. What if I dig a furrow from the water all the way down the hill to a small dam? And so he set to work. It worked beautifully. Then he had another bright idea. He went to the other 99 ants and said, how would you like to save the two hours a day you spend fetching water and put that time to better things? Give me just 10 minutes of that time each day working for me and in exchange you can take water from my dam. The other ants thought that was a brilliant idea and happily kept their side of the bargain, giving the smart ant just 10 minutes of their time in exchange for saving the two hours of heavy walking they'd been doing every day. Now this became known as profit, but that's what the smart ant did. He profited from his idea, but everybody was the richer for it. The smart ant was what we'd call an entrepreneur. One day, he had another bright idea. He saw a fellow ant who put his time to being a tailor and who loved sitting making beautiful trousers. Wow, said our hero, I could help him be a real expert pants maker if he worked for me. So he said to the ant, I'll pay you for all the pants you can make and you can concentrate on what you do best without worrying about selling them. Then the smart ant added a small profit called a markup to the pants and sold them to all the other ants. They were delighted because they got far better tailored pants than they could ever have made for themselves. Very soon the entrepreneur became very rich and was able to employ other ants to build him a beautiful home and buy all kinds of lovely things. The ants he bought from also got rich and began to do the same thing, go into business for themselves. However, one day some of the worker ants looked around and saw how rich the others were becoming. They got pretty jealous, but instead of becoming entrepreneurs themselves, they complained bitterly. Then one ant, a tyrant, persuaded the others to take the water and all the other things the entrepreneurs were making, saying, we are many and you are few. Why should we work for you? Well, you know what happened next. Very soon, everything went back to the way it was. No one was making pants, no one built houses or made fine things. Why should they, if they couldn't profit from their work? And with no one wise enough to keep the furrow cleaned and operating, it quickly filled up and stopped running water down the hill. Everyone became poorer. And would you believe it? They're all back to trudging up and down the hill again, two long, tiring hours a day. No, 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 wait a minute. All good stories end on a good note. And so should this one. Let's, let's wind it back a bit. What really happened was the tyrant was ignored and the whole community thrived. They worked together, made happy homes, raised wonderful families. These smart ants understood that profit works for everyone. And of course you've guessed, they are to this very day living happily ever after. Thank you.